welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. All right, yeah. as you can see, we came back. Yep, for another but, season of Empire. Barely. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. sat on the sofa for about 10 minutes arguing. <laughs> I was against getting on this camera. He was like, come on, yo. We got to let our loyal people see us yeah, again. Yeah, we got to come back see y'all. Yeah, the OG's yeah. been waiting on us. Y'all been asking us all week, are we going to do it? And I said, I'll make my decision after I watch it. And after I watch it, I said, I'm not doing the booze <laughs> But then at the end of the episode, I said, There they go on that booze again. I said, I see the little clip of Claire Huxtable in the jail. <laughs> I said, Bill Cosby just went to jail. Are we going to have some kind of link up between the Cosby's up in the... Don't even worry about it. We're going to get into this episode. He is going to recap it this time. But we're going to do it a little differently than we have been doing um, Empire Years to Come. But um, yeah. still from the thief. So I was like, man, is this going to be a good episode? Because it kind of started off kind of slow, but got towards the end. It picked up. And I was like, God darn. Uh, Empire is on this booze kid again. They get us at the end of the episodes every season. They get us. So we start off on the episode where Lucius is at a casket. So the whole time we were sitting there like, who in the hell is in this casket? Because I just knew that he was going to open that casket up. Mm -mm. That's what I thought I was going yeah. for. Yeah, open that casket up. But they're going to talk about six months later. I was like, I, I don't need to know what happened six months later. I need to know what's happening right now. Who is in the casket? And I said, I know it's not Anika. And I said, they playing, they doing a James Brown on us and keeping her out for six months while the family is fighting over who, who needs, who's going to yeah. get what and who's going to pay for what. And then I was like, okay, I did forget that Hakeem had gotten shot. But I was so, like, that uh, wouldn't be six months later either. Let's see. Yeah. It was like, oh, I, and I see you and oh, he just yeah. gradually passed away. <laughs> so I, I was like, okay, what's going on here? Well, so we see yo, Eddie Barker and Giselle, they still run the empire and we got... Cookie and uh, Lucius in the hot house because they can't afford to get the egg and dish fixed. Man, Juanita had on. Juanita won't even in her her work attire anymore. Juanita said, "Listen, when you can't pay me, I come to work how the hell I please." <laughs> they ran there hawking stuff, selling stuff on let go and offer up. Juanita ain't cooking no biscuits. As nope. a matter of fact, she done reminded them like, "Hey, I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't even got my paycheck yet." I said, oh, they doing real bad over uh -huh. here. They, they, they feeling living, <laughs> but in the birds right now. Exactly. So Cookie was like, Lucia, we're going to get this egg dish fixed. He said, you got $50,000? I was so like, I God, like the heat. Doing? I like the heat. I thought I thought it was doing bad the amount we paid to get our egg dish fixed. I feel good now. See, when you get rich, you forget about how it was to be poor. All they had to do is go down there, put some blankets up, yeah. through those got doing doors, Block it off and get you some window units. That's right. Your mm -hmm. windows still work. Yeah, them joke. You can get them there for about what, eighty nine ninety nine. Come on, all you need yep. is two. Down at Walmart, yes you can. Huh? And yeah, now they yeah. made it fast, and you can get them to sit right here in the living room with yep. you. And cool the house, cool the house. Yeah, please, at least the room cool it right on off. <laughs> so then they go again, still trying to plot on how they gonna get Empire back. So we come to find out, which from last season, Andre is in jail. For killing Anika. Cause we know she uh he drilled her. She saw uh what's her name? Uh, uh Dead Rhonda. Saw Dead Rhonda, fell off the balcony, and she gone. So Andre is in jail for that. Two but, years. Two years, but thanks to Thurston, he only got two years. And somebody called I said that's these cell phones gonna be the death of everybody, man. Yep. You can't do nothing and not think that somebody didn't get somebody is watching. So. Yeah, so Andre up in prison. So the plan is is for Andre to get some information on Eddie Barker so they can go in and get Empire back. I was like, here we go again. They still trying to go after this dig on Empire, trying to get that back. Y'all just need to let it go. Via who? Andre. Andre. Andre is Andre in jail. Is always the go-to person. He in jail living his worst life. Yeah. And y'all still need him. <laughs> he ain't got time to buck with you. <laughs> y'all the reason he in here. Exactly. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, so he in prison playing chess with this dude to come to find out that he was Eddie Barker's former money manager. And he was like, I need you to let me know where Eddie is putting his money. 
He, cause you said the last time Eddie got in this scheme, you was a part of it. He was like, I don't know about it. I don't know about it. Andre said, Well, if you ain't don't know, if you don't know nothing about it, it's not gonna end well for you, play. <laughs> I was like, What? Andre. <laughs> and I'm I'm quite sure he isn't medicated over there. Yeah. The oh, he's straight now. Yeah. So you gonna get Dre right here. Yeah. You getting yep the raw <laughs> Dre. <laughs> so you need to do what he asking you to do. So. We see they got the information, and so they said they're going over to the war ceremony where Eddie Barker and them going to be at. He was scared. He was scared. I was like, wait a minute. You're supposed to be a G. You, you done came in and took their company. you supposed to be big man, big pepper, big mean, bop. He was, look, they thought it was going to be a Cardi B and Nicki Minaj situation. <laughs> He, they he's thought. beefing up security. They sitting on the red carpet taking pictures. They seen them. They... They waving the security on there. I was like, come on, It's just said, look at him. Look at him. He's scared. scared. <laughs> what Lulu had on, though? I don't know what he had Lulu on. Lulu had on a carpet and, and Cookie had on two pillows on the back. So that's, that's, how you, that's how you dress when you broke, but you want to make people think you still got money. Hello, <laughs> Rainbow Special. And he went, to, he went straight to City Trees. Yeah, and they talking, she talking about us, and we pulled up. We, you know, we just pulled up and docked that yacht. No. What yacht? Paddle boat. <laughs> <laughs> See, think about us, us black people. We go we to the end. We we when we just stay on a white man can't drop. We rather look good and lose than look bad and win. <laughs> so we see that it's time for them that they have to sit together mm. for the camera, and they didn't want to do it. They, both of them scared. Eddie and um, Giselle. Yeah, they scared. Uh, Cookie waste wine on her. She pissed off. She ready to fight. So they sit down and tell Eddie, uh, this is what we're going to need you to do. We know about your little accounts over in uh, Panama. In, uh, yeah, over in Panama. And we know you skimming money off of Empire, just like you did on the, all the other businesses you were. They say either you resign, or, uh, resign from Empire oh, or go to jail. And he he squirming that he squirming. He said, "Come on, he's like, he like yo, we can deal with this tomorrow. We can said, deal. No, we gonna deal with this tonight." And he said, <laughs> and he said, and you gonna announce it tonight?" But of course, they can show us that. Mm -hmm. But we know he announced it because back in the office, he in there drinking brown liquor, toe up, and Giselle come in there. Asking him what the hell's going on. Why in the hell you leave me backstage? What the fuck is going on, Mr. Baca? And basically, you gonna screw me again? Yeah. She's, he said, we done lost again. She was like, no, there ain't no we. You lost. You lost. And I ain't going through this no more. And it was toe up drunk. You he see was. how he was eating that meat tray, though? Yeah. <laughs> you know you told when you were eating the meat tray. Like, I said, what the hell is he eating? It looked like glamorized meat jerk or whatever. That way it did. So they messing around. He trying to get on her, trying to hug and kiss her. She pushed his drunk hound parts down. The the center his head hit the goddamn table, and he died on the floor. She let him die. She, yeah, he was like, help me. She was like, I ain't helping your aid no more. Bye, Eddie. So, <laughs> and then I said, okay, this could be good. This, yeah. This is good, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Cause Lucius is hot, throwing stuff against the wall. He said, we got him, we had him, we had him back. And then he started blaming Cookie for losing Empire. So basically the deal they made with Eddie died with Eddie. Yep. In Eddie. other words, he didn't have time to sign the paperwork and sign everything over and all that stuff. So they lost again. <laughs> and they done. And so Lucius them is hot, fussing with each other. You made you you made me lose Empire. You gave her, you run around like you big pimping and you this and you that and you ain't never helped me with the company. And Cuckoo was like, wait, 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 wait. Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen dollars. And you remember when you needed to see the colors? He said, said, oh, so oh, you gonna bring going that out? out? You gonna go there cooking? She I said, did. yeah. <laughs> you gonna dog her down and she go she gonna go with the thing that you know that she know you sensitive. <laughs> yep. You sensitive about them got no wall of colors. But he seemed to always forget. What Cookie did for that company. Yeah, she was in prison for 17 years, but she was the one that helped you launch that joker before she went into prison. That's her seed money. Exactly. And she need to reap a heart. And when she got out, y'all tried to block her out. She had to bulldoze her way in there to get what was hers. Why she just don't need her? 
Yeah. I like them together, but this this we can't be pushing this agenda it's them, right here. It's them MTA man. It's them soul ties, man. It got to be. They are, they are natural. Buckle, man. Them soul ties. When you get attached to somebody, man. That's hood rich, though. Yeah, man. That's I, hood rich. I mean, just like me and you, man. I don't know if I can get attached, man. Do what? I don't know if I can get detached, man. I don't know if I can get detached. I, I don't know, man. Them soul ties. You know, we done been around together for a long time, man. Yeah. If we ever separate, we're going to be hitting it again. Yeah, though. we've been, we've been, we have, <laughs> we've been pimping since we pimping, buddy. <laughs> and y'all heard it first. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, hey, what you doing tonight? It's <laughs> not what you doing tonight. Hey, I'm coming through. <laughs> you got that brown look already? <laughs> you don't even need that. <laughs> Woo! So, they hot. They lost. And by this time, uh, Jamal can walk in the house with his new new man. And her and them fussing and arguing. <clears throat> what a way... To meet your, your new family. Oh, boy, said. Jamal said, why is it so bad? Why are you hot in here? So, we just we was, So, old boy was like, you know what? Because they were still trying to floss. We renovating. Because <laughs> yeah. Jamal was like, what happened to all the pictures? And, 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 and what's going on here? We renovating. Lou said, no, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> so, old boy was like, you know what? I gotta go outside and take a phone call. <laughs> I said, Jamal got him a black dude. Cause a white guy would have sat there and been like, oh, oh. so you can put a painting right there. Uh, yep. <laughs> that black dude said, I know what this is about. I'm going out here and I'm gonna imagine, I'm gonna talk to someone imaginary on this phone until this calms down. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but we know that Jamal, he live in London now. Got a, his, new, his own new label. That he ain't make no money. He said he got this dope rapper. <laughs> this is that, that sounds like a hobby. Oh, it sounds like a hobby to me. So, uh, <clears throat> they tell Jamal the whole story about them trying to almost get the empire back. He was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am so glad that this, uh, what did he say, the dragon or whatever is dead. This monster is dead. And finally, he said, praise Jesus, <laughs> praise Allah, praise every God out there. Praise him for this. And Lucy was like, what you talking about? You know, he was like, y'all been spending the last two years, uh, uh, your whole life, whole life empire and destroyed our family. And y'all spent the last two years trying to get it. And let, trying to get it back. Yeah, trying to get it back. Just let it go. Just like, just like y'all built that one, y'all can build another one. Because this ain't no longer a dream, y'all. This is a drug. <laughs> I said, darn. I said, that's deep. I mean, he wouldn't know about it. <laughs> he wouldn't know. He was down in the pipes. So that 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 got them thinking. And I was like, yeah. If you built it before. You can do it again. You can build it. You know, it might take a little bit of time. Because y'all ain't got no coins, you know. They but, had no coins in the beginning. Go ahead. Exactly. You might have to go out there and say you're coming down, bags cooking. But I did I, I did feel kind of bad, though, when it was one of the scene. I saw Lucian there eating a ham sandwich and, and Lay's potato chips. But he was enjoying it, though. But, um, ain't, ain't nothing like, like it, though. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like that. Some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And a grilled cheese. A grilled cheese. Got doing some ramen noodles. And a fried bologna sandwich with a huh. bubble popped. Let me tell you what we used to do. We used to do ramen noodles, man, and eat it with either saltine crackers. Or the got don't risk cry. Cause anybody ever did that right now, I'm telling you, you ain't never tried, you missing out on life. Man. I did. That's why half of us got high blood pressure now. Hey, hey, but, but at least we was happy. How <laughs> did he do that to you sometimes? You were happy, man. I, I told my wife, I said, I didn't know where we were that we was broke or in poverty yeah, I until I went to school. But now growing up, a whole lot of them that was talking a whole bunch of bullshit, they parents were broke too. They parents was flossing like cookie them in. That's it. I they was had, they had no money. They buying them joys, Nikes, Reeboks, um, used jeans, all that stuff. Used to be out buying all that oh, stuff. Yes. Yeah. And their parents couldn't afford. They trying to keep up a freaking image. And the kids and the goddamn sons and daughters, dumb as bricks. Ain't passing no classes. Hmm. Ain't doing no homework, no projects. But they look good. But they look good though. Hmm. They looking good and losing. <laughs> <laughs> so we find out that uh, y'all remember the scene where Blake dad came up there after he got mad when Blake exposed him. And they did what? Exposed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Blake dad ended up shooting God on Hakeem, man. So Hakeem is running around with one lung. 
Peace he, of a loan. Peace of a loan. Doctors trying to help him. You know, Hakeem, his ego won't let nobody help him. The lady trying to help him get his win back, so get him back on stage. He getting smart mouth at her. I said, well, don't breathe then. Yeah. yeah. I would have, I, I'm like, just go on over there and die if that you want. <laughs> see, I would have talked. See, I can't be no nurse. I would have talked cash money back to her. Mm. Say, you over there talking skin. <laughs> uh, she, he better be lucky he and want a black nurse. <laughs> she would have got to tell. Well, how about this, though? Mm. Tiana don't have the baby already. Yup. We don't fast forward that fast. I said, little baby Bella ain't a baby no more. She yeah, running around here yeah. with ice cream cone pajama sets on. Yeah. Baby. I said, <clears throat> see, y'all fast forwarded too far. And I needed to see this in between. And she don't she don't give two bucks about uh Hakeem not being able to breathe. She wanted to get back on stage. Cause she said Eddie don't side you. She don't he side don't. me. I was like, he running around there coughing and can't breathe, and you want him to get back on stage. And I said, this. I think that was a little selfish, though. I understand, you know. But, go get back on stage yourself. But let's play devil's advocate. If Tiana Long was half gone, he would did. He would have did the same skit to her. <laughs> Matter of fact, after she pushed that baby out, he probably did. Uh, I, I turned her on her. See, 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 what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to sneak you out the back door. We're going to take you down the steps. We're going to put you in the limousine. And then we're going to take you right to the stage. We're going to take you right to the stage and you're going to sing the song. You're going to sing the song like I wrote it. <laughs> he showed up with it. So I don't feel sorry for him. So we see them. Jig a ginger ale and get your skin together. So that's what we saw them at the, at the uh, war ceremony trying to sing. Because they said, <clears throat> what they said the plan was to, to do a backing track for him so he ain't got a rap. The backing track. And he was like, I don't even want to do that. Because if something happens and my fans find out that I'm lip singing, that ain't going to be good. And what happened? He get on stage and had, had an asthma attack and couldn't breathe. <laughs> and he couldn't breathe. And they found out. They was like, huh? is he using a backing track? Yeah. So, yes, he is. Yeah, and y'all couldn't tell before then? But I Ron Curry ain't teach y'all nothing. But I'm like the dude that was over there working it. Why you won't pay attention? Why you attention? just ain't cut it off? Yeah, so he was on the floor, couldn't breathe for about ten minutes before you saw it. <laughs> and then Blake had to come in and take over. Yeah, Blake had to come in and rescue him. I said, all right, Blake. Blake gonna take your shine, Hakeem. You better, uh -huh. you better take you. You better breathe into that machine. You remember that machine, right? Remember, remember my granddaddy had that machine down? Yep. <laughs> Every time I came over there, he wanted to show me that machine. <laughs> He said, come here, let me show you that my this new blood breathing machine. I couldn't be like, you done already showed it. So you had to act like you never known nothing about it. That's the first time he showed it to you, you know. You had to do a little bit of respect. Sam thought we were so mean. I said, no, it's a game. Yeah. It's all a game. So, Cookie Them took uh, Jamal's advice and started planning a new label. And Lucia was like, how in the hell are we going to do that? We ain't got no money. Ain't no people. We ain't got no people. Cookie said, we need a new sound. You know, like old school sound. You know, kind of stuff like, you know, what he said, what, he said, what is it? Prince, Michael Jackson and them? I don't remember. What, whatever, who they was, and they came out, you know, made you turn your head, you know, turn it up, music it up. You loved it when you first heard it. Like Bobby Brown. Let's say that like Bobby Brown when he came out. I could, we couldn't stop me. listening to Bobby Brown. <laughs> Yeah, we did watch the Bobby Brown story, and it was real good. Yeah, we didn't review it, but it was real good, man. I'm still trying to figure out why Bobby Brown is alive. Yeah, why that he's man has been through some skit. Yeah, I, matter of fact, I got the gummy. That's a miracle. I got the gummy because of Bobby Brown. I had the Bobby Brown shoes, you know, with the metal tips. Yep, I had the parts, the parts Look. going down right there. Look, mess them shoes up. You got to take the hammer, <laughs> tap them back into place, because your leg gonna flat. Your uh -huh. metal always bent down this way. Yep, it's time for you. Y'all know nothing about that. Yeah, that's that's long time ago. So Cookie remembered when she was at the prison visiting Andre that this girl was in the car singing to her phone and she was blowing it. So hey, can Cookie again go back to the prison, back to old Mr. Andre. I need you to help me find this girl that you ain't never seen a day in your life. Ask some people around right here about their girlfriend. I'm upset, so you want me. Yeah. To ask these dudes in here about that girl. You trying to get me killed? Yeah, you trying to get me killed? And I said, well, cook it. How, how we resort all the way down to making this girl come to the prison yeah. to be visiting a dude? Come find out she worked there. Yeah, she worked there. So, he saw she come strolling this dude on in and 
Cookie said, I'm a cookie line. I'm about ready to change, change your life. So, life. so I'm pretty sure that she already knew who cookie line was because she started smiling and grinning. So <laughs> they came over there. They brought her over to the hot house to the makeshift of <laughs> got on studio. And this white dude was with him. Yeah, I won't feel him from the start. I was like, this dude looks like a pimp. Yeah. That's exactly what he yeah, was. Yeah, he looked like a pimp. He talking about, I put all this money into him. Matter of fact, before you start singing, go through your scales. He said, mm, hood rats. Yeah, hood rats. You know, you, you can't take them nowhere. Lucia said, let me take you Let me, in the let me yeah, let's talk, talk some, some business. business. I said, I said uh -huh. get him together, Lulu. <clears throat> I said, you about ready to get your A whooping. You don't even know it. So the girl got the blowing and she got the singing. She tore it up. Mm -hmm. The girl can say, I don't know who she is. Right? Maybe I need to do some research find out who she is. I know who she is, but I can't think of her name right now. Oh, okay. You know I'm bad with names. Yeah. But I don't really care enough to sometimes learn people's names. So, on, uh, not Andre, got on, uh, Jamal is ready to go back home. Cookie said, no. You sticking around, you and old boy are gonna stick around at least to this company get along. So I said, here we go with this bus get again. Yeah, Jamal looked like you had just like killed him again. Making Jamal do something that he did not want to do. Just like previous in the episode. Well, uh Hakeem had a good point because when he yeah. shot Dubois, he was there for him. Mm -hmm. So he did, he and did he got shot. Yeah. So he 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 just like, yeah, you right, you was there. Everybody getting shot around now. Yeah. But he did not want to stay there at the launch because he know it's going to go from staying to the company getting launched. And they say, you know, he's going to be putting down some tracks. And before he know him and old boy going to be moving back and help him run this company. And that's what he don't want. Mm -hmm. Andre, run. Yeah. Not Andre, uh, Jamal, uh, run. But you know, I feel so goddamn bad. Because Becky is stuck over there at Empire. Yep. With Eddie and Giselle. Yep. Well, just Giselle now. Yeah. Let's talk about what she did to Eddie though. Eddie gone. See, we thought maybe it was Eddie in the casket, but Eddie got cremated. Yep. So it's not Eddie in the casket. And now he down in the freaking street drain. <laughs> he down in the sewer yeah, he with gone. the Ninja Turtles. He gone. She just poured him out like, you know, poured him out like he won't nothing. After the guy was like, I, we need you to be the interim CEO. And she was like, there's no better way. Mm -hmm. Driver, can you pull over? What you said? She trying to be the new Anika? She is trying to be the new Anika. And we'll I see said, how that go. You, you saw what happened to her, did you? Uh huh. She turned up. She turned up dead. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I said stuff don't end well for the to, for the women that interfere nah. in their lives mm -hmm. now. Nope. Dead Rondo. Yep. Dead Anika. Anika. And, I don't know. It might even be you next, Joe. Might even be you Because if you once Cookie them come up, they're coming to compete against you now. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> and they experienced in the game. Hmm. So, they know what to do. Hakeem, he got PTSD. Yeah, he, he, he just... got a lot going on. I mean, but I agree with what he said, though. That his brother needed to be there for him. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, he could really relate to him. Because he went through it, too. Yep. And Hakeem drinking his hard parts off. And yeah. I'm like... Dog, you need to like, slow, you need slow down. And you drinking black henny at that? You and need to slow down. Yeah, for, for you end up dead. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you don't moved out the house with Tiana and the babies. I was like, come on here, yeah, Hakeem. I don't know. We're going to see what this Where goes. Where the season's going. So it seemed like they going back and then they going to fill us in on this six months later. Cause I don't we, like it. Then it ended. I was like, Lucius at this six months later at the casket. And we see him sitting beside Becky. And Becky was like, you didn't know. You didn't know what. We see Mr. Dubar, like you said, saying that, you know, the Lions need to experience the, to putting one of their own in the ground. It's like, oh, <laughs> like. I said, they better not do nothing to Andre. Yeah. And then I said, is it cooking? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. Who y'all think it is? Who y'all? I, I don't know. I, I don't even know what it is. I said, it better not be uh, Baby Bella. But yeah, you said the casting was too big for that. Well, but look. Who's <laughs> looking at Howell? They had, yeah. they had rain on the casket, did it be? Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't know. So, I guess we'll be around to find out when y'all find out. Mm -hmm. They better show us on episode two, man. So y'all leave down down below who y'all think is in the casket, man. Yeah. Or is it Mama Lucius? We ain't seen Mama Lucius in a while. They just sent her to a convalescent home. Nope. But you would you would wonder was a cookie, but I know it ain't cookie. The only reason if it if this is the last show season of Empire, yeah. 
this might be cookie. So I, I might do a little bit of extra research to find out if this is gonna yeah, be the last season. That. And then, uh, then makes it. You don't think I should do that? Yeah, I mean, you can. Yeah, I'll see. I, I wouldn't do it. But anyway, Straight let us know what y'all think. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Tua! Holla!